Well, the state of the games industry is a very interesting one nowadays with uh, Sweet Baby Inc. narrative designs terrifying developers into changing the narrative of games. But now we've got one where we've got to sit back and wonder what in the world is going on. We're going to talk about Helldivers 2 here, mostly because apparently the game is completely woke. But <clears throat> what I see with this game right now it seems that maybe they just were trying to make a parody of what one side of the coin sees and then they succeeded in thousands of people playing their game. This is a thousand monkeys working at a thousand typewriters. Soon, they'll have written the greatest novel known to man. Infinite monkey theorem in the world. It's an idea and the theory pretty much states that you put a thousand monkeys in a room or an infinite number of monkeys in a room and they will type out exact copies of something. This is what's going on with AI art right now. We're seeing that in particular, but this might be one of the th cases that we are seeing with Helldivers too. The infinite glitch in this case is that the game came out and it segregated itself to everything one side of the coin really thinks that is the bad stuff in gaming. But then they made all these bad things in gaming, the, the reality is twisted so far at this point that they made a hit game that everyone wants to play even though they tried to make it very woke. Fully get in this and we turn our eyes to Grums, the, the old uh, developer from Blizzard, subscribe to the channel. We're going to cover, showcase a lot of things here. So we've got a bunch to look at and this is no different than any other video that I make here on the channel. Let's dive into this. Grums, were we misled? Helldivers 2 was lauded for their anti-political stance by all of us. Now Helldivers community manager clarified why they banned people for asking for LGBT capes. Now, something I didn't cover. Uh, I didn't think it was important at the time. The, the community banned people that were demanding the, that they include LGBT style capes for the characters to wear, where they go into battle wearing a rainbow flag on their back or something like that. It's whatever. It, it, this is getting very old at this point that the uh, the political stance or the ideology of the, the rainbow flag is everywhere right now. It is so everywhere. It's in everyone's faces. So I don't, I don't blame anyone that bans it from their games, that bans it from their communities at this point, because it is overwhelmingly everywhere. Um, I, I live here in Alberta. Two, uh, two small towns had votes on removing the pride uh, crosswalks. One voted to get rid of it, the other one did not, but the one that voted to get rid of it before the other one didn't, um, got bombarded with people going to the community and waving the flags and completely pamphleting and spreading propaganda in that community over it. We haven't heard anything of that since, but then the other community that the vote came up on they didn't ban it after the fact, after that other community got bombarded with this uh, this thing. This isn't a situation where people can just be anymore in it. You're either on one side or the other, which really sucks because I have a lot of friends that are, are LGBTQ. Like I work with a lot of people that are. I have a lot of friends that are and none of them like this. It wasn't for pol politics, it was to protect the devs from waves of hate speech, which our staff was struggling with emotionally and that they are only banning the bigots. So they didn't want the rainbow flags in there because they feared the backlash of it from people that don't care, from people that just are sick and tired of seeing this. And then they banned the bigots, which I believe were the people that were asking for these things. It's a roundabout way to get there, but really, if this is the twisted reality we're in, that's where they made this game. They literally sat in a room, put things together, and happened to make something that's all the isms or everything that people are, are keep clamoring against, and then they make a hit game out of it because that's what everyone wants in gaming right now. Honestly, I don't know what to think. Uh, what exactly is the Helldivers community policy? And then you have Kathleen Baskin here. <laughs> Helldivers is pretty woke, dog. Uh, 
game was made by a lot of LGBTQ and brown people and black people and women and it's a big satire of Jingoism. So are we talking Django Unchained with uh, Jamie Foxx? That was an amazing movie. Absolutely amazing movie for what it was. They really dove into things. And uh, I, I gotta say, for a Tarantino movie, I was thoroughly taken back and thoroughly enjoyed watching that and watching people getting owned over it. Okay, I had to look it up while editing because of course my take on that, it's not about the Tarantino movie, but that's where my thought first went. Jangoism is a nationalism of a form of aggression and po proactive foreign policy, such as a country's advocacy for the use of threats or actual force as opposed to peaceful relations. So isn't Helldivers 2 about invading space bugs like Starship Troopers? That's not exactly um, a nationalism for it, is it? I, I haven't, I haven't dove into the Helldivers two. It's one of those games I've been watching, um, but I, it's whatever it is. You know, I probably would love enjoying that game. I just don't see a lot of people talking about it in my circle, so I don't play it. Um, it's such as a country's advocacy to use threats as actual force as to post unto peaceful revelations in efforts to safeguard what perceives it as a national interest. They're not really fighting national interest in there, aren't they fighting for survival at this point? They're fighting against bugs that are infesting the, the world? Um, what kind of sick twisted game did Helldivers devs actually make? We're, we're at this point where it's completely flipping the script and flipping it a second time. Twist your reality so much. Get into the minds of the people that you want to play your game. And then you make that game and then you say, this is where it is. It also explains a lot about the world at present. No, it's not exactly like that. Didn't they ban people for Discord for suggesting they had LGBT colored capes? No, we only ban the bigots, transphobes, homophobes, racists are not welcome in our community. We had to restrict topics in the Helldivers 2 general chats for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech, which our staff was struggling with emotionally. Really? Really? <laughs> First off, you know, I'm up here in Canada and there's a lot of talk of hate speech. There's a law that's going into effect that's going to possibly house arrest you if you say hateful things online or if not even saying hateful things online, perceiving that you may say hateful things online. It's absolutely totalitarianism. Unfortunately, hate speech in the States, I believe is covered under your First Amendment rights, is it not? People can say what they're going to say, it's how you choose to react to it. I, as long as you don't give people the power for saying hateful and mean words, you give no, no legitimacy to these things. I'm talking much about it's my turn to talk. It's time for black people to be heard and white people to listen. What? I want to continue to do everything I can to help, including passing the mic. I'm so tired of games focusing on parent-child narrative period, let alone male-centric ones, where other relationships are worth exploring in games. What kind of sick, twisted reality are you in? You know what? I like games with female stories, I like women, I like to see more women doing things in games that aren't motiva motivated entirely by men. Like Stellar Blade? It's why Jesse from Control Remedy is great and has, uh, has a sibling story. I love game siblings. You know, the, the community manager changed her profile to erase politics, should have started this way, keep politics out of games. Yeah, so originally they had a lot of the, a lot of the woke flags or the the woke side of things in their their stuff and now they've erased that and just left it at that and uh, if you're managing a community that's supposed to be representing representing like that keep the politics out of it you know what i have no problem if you keep the politics out of it what they're saying here is very strange and seems to be prejudice against white males which is not normal at all. That's not reality. Um, I, I, I don't see how this has become that great of a thing, uh, especially when you look at the culture of who plays video games. Now, I do got to say, June 4th, 2020, 
Memorial for George Floyd by Reverend Al Sharpton. Their post lines up with the significant date in history right now. The Discord uh, community manager that oversees Discord that bans politics should not have politics herself in the pro profile, her tweets about the game. That's the only fair thing. And that is exactly it. Um, now, Weaponized Nerd Rage, uh, he was in the Discord when it went down. There were no massive waves. It became a meme in 24 hours and no one said crap. Where does this actually put it? Is this something that's just come out? This is back from 2020, these posts. So maybe it's a change up of where they once were to where they are now. Maybe they're starting to understand what sells for video games. And then, and then they put it out there for Helldivers. Saying that you have a lot of LGBTQ people, brown people, black people, and all this other stuff that work for the company doesn't necessarily make the game the, the the game woke it may be make the company woke if they're discriminating against hiring people but from this from the sounds of this they might actually be um more in like this inclusivity that they go after this is a very strange one to me um there's things that they've said here that make me believe that they're not nice people that they they want to discriminate but at the same time, then they make a game and everyone wants to play the game because it dove heavily into what they perceive is bad. And that's, that's the thing. A lot of this is not the bad side of the coin. This is escapism. This is gaming. And if they want to keep the politics out of the game, I'm more than happy with that. If they want to run a community that keeps the politics out of the community, I'm more than happy with that. But from things that they're saying here they're saying they're getting hate speech and all this other stuff other people are are claiming it's not the case so is this just a way of them saving face at this point because these tweets have resurfaced because they know that they're on the eyes are on gaming in everything right now is this their their way of just saying this is a community manager and they're supposed to be reading the room at this point so if they can read the room and just say these things and quell the the one side and virtue signal towards them and say listen listen we hear you we're doing this but you know at the same time when they have these old things in their in their bio they have um stuff going on in there that are political agendas that are political things i don't know i don't know where does this one really lie? Grums is on to something here, but is it something that's worth really pursuing? Helldivers 2, a lot of people are enjoying it. It, it, it. I gotta say, a lot of people just enjoy queuing up and having games at that in itself. But this was also the, the game that didn't open enough servers. Um, they had a lot of uh, frame rate bugs right, off the, right out of the hop. Why is that? You know, where's their actual focus on this game? You got to wonder what it actually is doing right now. Anyway, I'm your Proctor Phoenix, Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.